Hello, welcome back. Good to see you. In this tutorial, we're going to be starting off on an easy topic, modifying your icon, your application icon. It's the first thing that you see on your phone before you start it, and it's quite simple to modify. If you put together a PNG file, I've shown off my artistic skills here and created a uh, 192 by 192 pixel sized um, image with an alpha channel. If you remember, you can go into the resource directory, look at the MIP map folder, and currently if you pick an icon, it's set to a standard Android image. If you right click on MIP map and select new image assets, it defaults to the location of the default Android image. What you can do at this point, first of all, make sure that the asset type is launcher icons. You can navigate to the image you've created. I've saved mine onto the desktop. All you have to do at this point is hit next and you're given a warning. You're asked if you want to replace the current set of icons. Android Studio takes care of generating the different sized icons for different sized devices. So ranging from the largest icon size to the smallest. We're going to run this application in an emulator. Let's hit save, highlight app and hit run app. It will take a few moments for your emulator to start. I'm going to pick the Nexus 4 emulator that we set up in the first tutorial. I cut the video there. The emulator takes a little while to start, not too long, but we don't want any extended silences. So you use the emulator in the same way as your normal phone and the Droid 101 application immediately loads up. But we want to see the icon, so I'm going to click on exit here. So we have to hunt for the application. Where is it? There it is. Droid 101. You can clearly see our icon. Now it's a bit inconvenient in the current location. We're going to be launching it quite often. So I'm just going to highlight it and uh, move it to the home screen. And that's how you create the icon. If you want to read a little more about iconography, you can take a look at the developer Android website on the design style iconography web page and they have a lot more details you might want to read about. That's it. Thanks for watching. Just one more thing. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you the Android manifest and the application we're developing has, well yeah, it's got a beginning tag and an ending tag and within that uh, we list our activities but also here you can see that the Android icon is referenced in the resource directory MIP map and the name of the icon. So I'll just point that out. We'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll uh, build upon the familiarity of the Android manifest as we go through the tutorials. Thank you.